Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Russian soldier Nikita lying beneath a clear blue sky. He quickly assumes his position, keeping a watchful eye on terrorists. His fellow soldier notices they have a good vantage point for a grill, but their tranquility is short-lived. A message arrives, commanding them to stay alert, army trucks will soon approach their location. The comrade urges him to leave the military life behind, but Nikita adamantly refuses. As the soldiers, possibly terrorists, draw nearer, they reveal hand grenades. Nikita and his companion spot a new leader among them, a man named Stas. They learn that Stas has been involved in some personal matter since the 1990s. Seeing Stas triggers a sudden flood of memories for Nikita. In a flashback, we witness Nikita's childhood. He was once abducted by thugs, and his father, Korn F, fought valiantly to protect him. However, when one of the goons threatened Nikita, Stas pointed a gun at Korn F and pulled the trigger, leaving Nikita's father lifeless. Today, Stas stands before them, wearing army attire, as a terrorist. Nikita, overwhelmed by his past, takes a shot at Stas, alerting all the soldiers and terrorists. Stas miraculously avoids the bullet and escapes. In retaliation, the terrorists open fire on Nikita, and unleash a barrage of grenades, severely injuring him. Tragically, his fellow soldier do not survive the assault. Nikita is now left with a burning desire for revenge. Next, Nikita awakens to the blaring alarm. In the same room, he practices playing a musical instrument, reminiscent of the moments he shared with his grandfather in his youth. Back and forth between the present and Nikita's childhood, young Nikita's grandfather encourages him to practice dancing, but he defiantly flees the room, showing his independent spirit. Returning to the present, we find Nikita engrossed in a strenuous workout routine. Afterward, he douses himself with water, carefully stows away his weapons in a bag, and departs his room, accompanied by a small turtle. A doorbell rings, and he hands over his turtle, Yoda, and some money to a man, before leaving. Shifting to Sanai and her team, quick and quiet, engaged in a discussion at a table. Suddenly, Nikita appears before them, drawing Quick's ire. Quick begins taunting and harassing him. Rashala intervenes, reminding Nikita that she had insisted on recruiting a professional soldier. Rashala takes Nikita aside, and emphasizes that they are all young, but if they want the job, they must collaborate. Nikita reluctantly agrees. Their new handler arrives, exchanging greetings with everyone. He informs them everything has been arranged, and introduces Nikita as Yasha. Nikita makes it clear that on this mission, he will be in charge and expects unwavering obedience. Amid their conversation, he requests the latest firearms from Quick, prompting Rashala to remind him that they'll cover any collateral damage, but taking lives is off limits. Nikita lays down their mission objective, to neutralize security. The team is now set for a high-stakes operation, with Nikita leading the way. On their mission, the team enters a factory, and Nikita swiftly asserts his authority, instructing them to work fast and stay put until he says otherwise. He makes it clear that he's in charge. Meanwhile, inside a room, Eva encounters Pavel Petro and his associates at the dinner table. Eva explains that she's there to assist with Natalia's affairs, distributing some documents to those present. However, one of the young shareholders makes an inappropriate gesture, and she slaps him. This leads to a heated altercation between Petro and the young man, with Petro brandishing a gun. Vasily intervenes, diffusing the tension, and the young man demands Eva be removed from her role, thinking he's the largest shareholder. Vasily corrects him, stating that the largest shareholder is his father, and advises him not to tarnish the family name. Eva clarifies that her father, not she, is the shareholder and departs. Back at the factory, Nikita and his team enter the premises. Nikita distributes security uniforms to the team, which they don't particularly like. Rashala engages in a discussion with them. Eva proceeds to a security room, where she finds Stanislav preoccupied with his duties. While observing the security system, she detects something unusual, but decides to ignore it and continue with her tasks. As Nikita and his team successfully breach the gate, they find themselves inside a tunnel, known for its high security measures, often used for transporting missiles. They come to a halt in front of another gate within the tunnel. A technician begins working on opening the gate, and Nikita decides to venture inside with the technician, leaving the rest to stand by. Quick, showing his determination, salutes Nikita, promising to do the same, prompting laughter from the team. Elsewhere, Eva heads to an office and obtains a key. Meanwhile, Nikita and the technician enter a concealed room. Inside, Stas instructs the guard, Roma, to focus on the security monitors rather than playing games. 
Nikita and the technician begin hacking the CCTV cameras, but Sanaya and Quick suddenly appear, causing Roma to vanish from the monitor within a second. The technician reveals that they are now watching a week old recording on the monitor, and Nikita requests that the signal be jammed. Simultaneously, Quiet engages in a fierce battle with three Mafia security personnel, impressing Nikita, he takes on all of them and emerges victorious. Quick proceeds to a gym, where he confronts three security guards. Together with Sanaya, they incapacitate the guards and apprehend one of them. Rashala, the clerk, and the agent arrive at the scene. Nikita, upon seeing a photo of his father, A.V. Kornef, on the board, falls into a contemplative silence. When Sanaya inquires about it, he remains tight-lipped. Rashala takes a selfie with the subdued guards, while Nikita positions himself on the floor to maintain cover. As Eva explores a warehouse, Nikita enters a restaurant, leaving the group outside. He informs the patrons that it's a raid, but a fight breaks out between them and Nikita. Quick is ready to join the fray, but Sanaya advises him to watch first. After witnessing Nikita's struggle, the group eventually joins the fight. Amid the chaos, an elderly man, bewildered by the skirmish, takes a seat. A security guard in the restroom hears the commotion and cautiously steps out, taking a deep breath. The technician continues to jam the CCTV signals, monitoring the fight on his laptop with Rashala and the clerk by his side. In the restaurant, the group subdues everyone. Eva decides it's time to depart. Simultaneously, the security guard emerges from behind the restroom wall. The group binds and incapacitates all the patrons. Eva reaches a gate and starts unlocking it with the key. Quick and his partner enter a lab, and engage in combat with the guards, leaving them unconscious. Eva enters a storage room, where she finds something that brings joy to her. She uncovers photos. Back in the restaurant, all the guards approach Nikita and his group. They retreat, as the guards get closer to the curtain, the group overpowers them, rendering them unconscious and securing them. During the fight, Nikita begins moving elsewhere. Quick is in a showdown with a guard when a worker grabs the guard's ear and tosses him aside. The worker triumphs over Quick's partner as well. Sanaya and Nikita fight the worker together, engaged in an intense struggle. The worker is on the verge of victory when Nikita intervenes, preventing further harm. Quick is severely injured from the fight. Nikita administers an injection, and Quick begins to recover. Nikita instructs Quick to be placed in the nearby locker room, which is situated near the shop floor. The security guard, who had fled from the restroom, rushes to inform police officer Alexander about the group of men who have tied up the security guards. Initially skeptical, Alexander dismisses the report, urging the guard to take a break. Vasily and the young shareholder enter the security room, where they encounter Stanislav. Suddenly, the lights come back on. Nikita and his team prepare to leave the facility. The technician informs Rashala that the cameras are functioning once again. The agent plays with a chain, hinting at a plan. With the cameras back online, Roma contacts Stanislav. Observing the situation on the monitor, Stanislav triggers the security alarm. Nikita and the team arrive at his location, but he locks the door. Stanislav informs Vasily that all units are under attack. Amidst the discussion, Petro retaliates, kicking the young shareholder who had been harassing him. As the team successfully breaches the door, Rashala confronts them, demanding their surrender. Stanislav, Petro, and the shareholders engage in a heated clash, leading to a chaotic showdown between all parties involved. A fierce sword fight unfolds between Nikita and Stanislav. Petro attacks Sanaya, but Quiet intervenes from behind and knocks Petro unconscious, much to Quick's delight. A battle between Nikita and Stas rages on, with two other team members poised to deal with Pavel. Rashala arrives and halts the violence, instructing Pavel to enter the conference room, which he does. Inside the conference room, Rashala commends the team for their good work, but reminds them that paperwork remains. When asked about the CEO's whereabouts, Nikita points to the lifeless body, stating that the transaction requires the CEO's signature. This revelation prompts laughter from the group. Rashala enters the conference room, where he threatens the shareholders and demands their resignations. Meanwhile, the group CEO attempts to break into Vasily's room, but gets shot in the process. Quick narrowly dodges the bullet. Outside the factory, the police presence intensifies, but Rashala manages to handle the situation. Nikita instructs Sanaya to open Vasily's room within five minutes. When he spots Eva, she flees upon seeing him, locking herself in a room. Sanaya forcefully enters and detains Eva. A confrontation ensues between Sanaya and Nikita, as Sanaya suspects Nikita of hiding something. 
quiet quick and their friends join the fight. Despite their collective efforts, Nikita prevails. He signals Eva to come out, and she complies. Rashala looks on, and Eva calls out to Vasily. As Nikita emerges, the group returns and resumes fighting him. Nikita continues to fight them, displaying a mix of laughter and dance. All five of them gang up on him, and after subduing him, they beat him with sticks. Sanaya eventually renders Nikita unconscious in the fight. Witnessing this, Rashala applauds and acknowledges Nikita as the true boss. Vasily questions whether the factory is more important than life, and he brings Eva in front of a camera, seemingly planning to exploit her. Suddenly, Vasily emerges from a room with a gun. In the chaos, Nikita seizes the opportunity to eliminate Rashala from behind, and the three of them enter the room. Inside, Vasily questions Nikita, who takes the gun from him, revealing it belongs to his father. Nikita points the gun at Vasily, and inquires about the location of the warehouse, but Vasily remains silent, urging Nikita to remember what they did to his father. Nikita insists they are all criminals and refuses to reveal anything. Eva steps forward and discloses that she knows the whereabouts of the weapons. She used to be a police officer, and had seized their truck, but her boss vanished, the case closed, and she lost her job. Eva had been seeking justice all along. Nikita spots people approaching the factory on the CCTV monitor. Vasily identifies them as the individuals he's been searching for, prompting Nikita to relinquish his gun and take Eva with him. Meanwhile, Sanaya and Quiet become alarmed when they see the weapons nearby. Rashala offers them a chance to become shareholders in the factory, but they decide to stand their ground and fight. Nikita enters the factory grounds through a tunnel where he had earlier restrained three guards. The technician informs him that he has access. Stas's men also arrive, and Nikita keeps a vigilant eye on them. When they enter, Rashala confronts Nikita, introducing herself as the new owner. Rashala calls upon police officer Alexander to explain the situation. When Stas's men inquire about Sanaya and her group, Rashala dismisses them as rappers who are merely celebrating, and they appear injured, which fuels skepticism. Stas's men order everyone to sit down, and a confrontation escalates when Sanaya and her group begin rapping. The tension erupts into violence, with Stas's men opening fire on everyone, including the police. In the crossfire, a bullet strikes quiet, and Quick succumbs to his injuries. Nikita rescues Sanaya just as Stas's man is about to shoot her, resulting in the man getting shot and falling. Nikita guides them out through the tunnel. Vasily and Eva exit the room, and Rashala joins them. Sanaya displays the guard's gun, and begins to interrogate Rashala. Rashala aims her gun at Sanaya, and demands obedience when police officer Evil arrives. The old man sneaks up and incapacitates Rashala from behind, leaving Vasily to comprehend the situation. They all proceed through the tunnel. The shareholders, suspecting Vasily's secrets, make their way through, passing the guards Nikita had tied up. Together, they escape through the tunnel. As they prepare to escape, Nikita acquires some weapons from the warehouse. Eva and the others board a bus, but Stas and his guards ambush them, opening fire on the bus. Quick tragically loses his life in the crossfire. Stas captures everyone and pressures Vasily for information about his warehouse. Nikita watches from a distance with a machine gun, but refrains from firing on Stas. While Kiev holds everyone captive, Nikita reminisces about a conversation with his grandfather, who stressed that a true soldier defends his home, failing to do so makes one abandoned. Stas leads the captives into a room in the factory, executing Rashala. He challenges them to a fight, and Sanaya prepares to engage, but is stopped by her partner, who confronts Stas. In the ensuing brawl, Stas strangles Sanaya's partner to death. Nikita manages to eliminate one of Stas's guards, alerting Stas, who sets out to find him. Nikita kills another guard and frees the tied-up individuals, instructing them to exit the bus safely. He confronts Stas's squad, taking them down one by one. Meanwhile, Sanaya, Eva and Vasily decide to stay and resist Stas's forces with gunfire. In the factory, Nikita battles Stas and his squad alone, and as he gets the upper hand, Stas awakens and becomes silent. Police officer Evil helps him. Sanaya, Eva and Vasily engage in a fight with Stas's squad with Sanaya discovering a bomb in the warehouse. When some of Stas's men enter the warehouse, Sanaya detonates the bomb, causing an explosion and flames to erupt from the tunnel. Stas sustains minor injuries in the blast and opens fire in their direction. Nikita arrives from behind, urging Stas to drop his weapon. Stas proposes a share of the money, but Nikita asserts he's motivated by justice, not money. The two engage in a fierce hand-to-hand -hand fight. Nikita manages to overpower Stas, eventually stabbing him with his own knife. 
Nikita gazes at the blue sky, reminiscent of an earlier moment, and ultimately shoots Stas. Eva Vasily and police officer Evil approach Nikita, suggesting he leave, but he remains silent. Eva argues that Nikita isn't a criminal and pleads with Evil not to arrest him. Nikita declares his exhaustion from running, stating he's a soldier. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.